So there's a scenario that I wanted to test uh, that I've seen on other YouTube channels called Chuck's Left Turn. I'll be trying several attempts through this intersection, proceeding up to the intersection using full self-driving, and then see how the car navigates to detect oncoming traffic from the left-hand side, proceed across the lane with the oncoming traffic, and make a left-hand turn onto the other side of the divided highway. So in case you're wondering, we are at the intersection of Claremont and Lamplighter Avenue. So we're gonna give you a little view of what we're going to do. This is the intersection that we're talking about. This is a left-hand turn with a partial obscuration. You can see by the hill on the left-hand side that the car has to creep forward to be able to see the oncoming traffic. The speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. However, it is not uncommon for vehicles to be traveling across this section of the road at 50 to 55 miles an hour. From what I've been reading, the next version of full self-driving that we anticipate, version 10.13, is going to address some issues that have been reported with this type of intersection and this type of turning. So with that said, let's buckle up, get out there, and see how it does. All right, so we're coming up on the intersection here and the car is coming to a nice stop. It's got a good confident line going through. On the left side, I do see some vehicles approaching. There's a motorcycle approaching uh, far to the left. Car is creeping forward for visibility and nope, we're gonna stop it right there. It would have attempted to cross, but the motorcycle is traveling too fast to be safe for the intersection. All right, we've got full self-driving engaged. I don't see any traffic coming in from the left-hand side and nothing from the right. The car does make the intersection, the turn appropriately, a little slow down there, and then it enters the lane. So it did make that uh, turn, but there was no traffic for the car to consider. So we'll go ahead and turn around and get us get it set up again. All right, so we do have full self-driving engaged right here. Coming up on the intersection, this will be an unprotected left turn with uh, busy traffic coming from the left. I do see a couple of cars coming, and the car did want to try to make that, and that was not appropriate. All right, so we're gonna put in uh, self-driving, full self-driving, engage autopilot. We've got a lot of vehicles approaching uh, from the left. It's very busy coming in. As you can see from the visualization here on the screen, uh, this is a quite, quite a busy intersection with a lot of traffic. So I'm just waiting for a gap on the left-hand side. Car is creeping forward for visibility. We've got one car and one truck coming. It is waiting for the truck. And then it's proceeding through and actually it did very well that time. So other than a little creeping into the intersection to see the oncoming traffic, uh, everything looked pretty good on that. Uh, however, the car did have to move forward because of the hill on the left-hand side to be able to see oncoming traffic from the left into that intersection. So we're going to go ahead and turn around here and uh, we'll go for try number three. So this is the view of the traffic coming from the left side as you would approach the intersection where we're going to attempt to make the left-hand turn. For the next two approaches, I'm going to change the angle of the top camera so you can get a better visualization of what the traffic looks like coming from the left-hand side. Car has left turn signal on. Again, I do see some traffic coming in from the left-hand side. Uh, there's a little bit of a hole right here. Let's see if the car is going to take it. Nope, it holds very appropriately. That's what I would have done. Another little gap after the silver car. And again, we're holding and that's good. So, so far, full self-driving's management of this intersection approach has been very good. So we've had some mixed results with this. We've had some turns uh, work appropriately and some where the car is attempted to go in. For instance, this one right here, I just took over. Uh, because it would not have been appropriate for it to try to navigate across that intersection. There's just a little bit of hesitation when it goes into the intersection. If it went straight across, 
then I would be okay with it. And that, that one, it actually did fine with the spacing, but it pulled out in front of a vehicle and um, I feel like I wouldn't have done it that aggressively if I were driving, but in terms of a safe intersection crossing and left turn, I thought that that went fine. We'll put a final tally here at the bottom of the screen so that you can see how many attempts we made at this intersection using full self-driving beta version 10.12.2. And the reason I chose this intersection is it's been demonstrated on another YouTube channel that I'll link below. Uh, it is one that Tesla has stated they are working on improving for the next FSD beta update. So when that happens, I'll come back here and try it again. That's all I had for this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.